January 25th, 1991, or the, uh, at Bucko Point near the APC Mill. And there uh, appears to be a, uh, a large amount of floating effluent from the APC outfall uh, in, the, in the area of Bucko Point. the log boom which encircles APC's uh, registered outfall and you can see from the corner here that it looks like there's a lot of oil mixed in with the uh, with the foam from the process and right in this area you can see where the foam is, es is escaping under the log boom because of the high volume inside the log boom and it in turn comes out and is exposed to the open sea Point being is that the, uh, the red squirrels are very wet. And it's a heavy smoke situation and a very low temperature fire. Something's going to have to be done about this. Looks like oil on top of it over there. That's inside the boom. Run parallel to this stuff, Dan, right straight ahead. There's a big line of this stuff. This is real heavy here. Thick that stuff is in there, Dan. That stuff just like mud in there. Look at that. Black junk. A couple of eagles fishing by the uh, southeast end of the uh, effluent pond. There's a lot of sludge right in the water right here. Evidently that's killing fish. And these guys are just fishing, waiting for something to uh, come up to the surface. Okay, now what is that there? These are deformities on the fence. This is a copper rockfish, this lower one. I have us at uh, 20 feet water depth. My visibility is extremely limited. But I don't know how well the camera will pick up the material. The water column, it's very black. today is blowing uh, primarily up the Blue Lake drainage towards Blue Lake, which is to the right of the frame uh, in the cleft between uh, the mountains. And the water, uh, this is APC's effluent containment area. Some real heavy black material in the sludge boom at this end. And, uh, 
some of the relatively newer stuff. This is the hour pole right here. And here you can see where the uh, material is starting to filter out underneath the log rooms out to sea. And these are some shots of uh, some overflow from this DAF unit. This is sludge right here and it undoubtedly contains uh, dioxin and heavy metals from uh, the uh, wastewater. The uh, air emissions from the pulp mill today appear to be going primarily up into the Blue Lake uh, drainage. They're uh, veering to the right. It's uh, a lot of air emissions. Now heading from the mill towards Sitka as you approach uh, Thimbleberry Bay uh, and the area at the foot of the hill by the Mormon Church. And you can see uh, this is a clear example of how the air emissions from the APC mill impact. This foam actually appears at some times uh, becoming airborne at this edge right here, blowing out into the bay. There to slam it back in the water. Sludge all over the bay. It's hard to pick up, but some of it's floating right below the surface of the water, too. Thimbleberry Bay, May 31st, 1992. A lot of heavy, noxious smelling material in the water here. It's obviously uh, a lot of suspended pulp, red liquor, reddish tint to it, and some darker black floating sludge clumps. Okay, and we have it on the beach here too, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's a segment that somebody stepped in. You'll, you'll notice, dark. You'll notice that, that there are no wood chips in here. No wood chips. No wood chips. This is new stuff. I mean, this looks just like the stuff out of the tank. But the black stuff. This is the right where the pipe comes up out of the uh, out of the ground under the water. It's about a three or four feet offshore. Lots and lots of real black sludge. It appears like the stuff is turning in the sludge. There's some new darker material at the far end of the log boom. A lot of it. right up against the logs. There's a lot of it that's escaping. And as you see, there's a lot of it out in the water. There's some of it coming up from the bottom here right now. Shot of APC's primary clarifier taken from the Blue Lake Road. Uh, that's the movable rake you see in the right top. The next bat is the uh, secondary clarifier. As you can see, there's a lot of heavy black floating material in there, and I believe this is the source of the black material that is trapped in the effluent containment boom down at the uh, outfall. So they're just shooting this stuff right down to the sea. The tank in the bank, back is the anaerobic uh, treatment tank, the secondary, the secondary tertiary treatment. You can see the air that's being forced up through that toxic soup. And that uh, is what's bubbling up. This has to be creating a lot of uh, chloroform emissions 
formaldehyde and a lot of other uh, real toxic volatile lines APC that evidently was put up here because some people were in here uh, bearing witness to what they're doing to the bay. This yellow uh, streamer across here is a new, relatively new one. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this sign is hanging on a wire, a piano wire, that is hung presumably on their property line. But as they are aware, trying to break up some of this floating material on the top of the secondary clarifier. Presumably to get it so it'll mix with the rest of the stuff and go out to the bay. I think this is one of the ways that they're getting this stuff introduced into the bay. The stuff that's floating. This is in addition to the material that comes popping up off the bottom, which you've seen earlier. Clarifier. There's the secondary uh, treatment operator out here trying to break this heavy stuff up. The whole surface of that uh, secondary clarifier appears to be really solid stuff. It's like spraying a hose on a plowed field. A lot of solid sludge down in the bottom of the clarifier. We have a hose running in there. To liquefy the slide.